Hi, John. Welcome and welcome to AmbiX. Um, so obviously you joined the team on Monday as director of product. Um, we thought it would be good to introduce you properly and find out a little bit more about you. Um, so to kick off, would you like to start just by telling us a little bit about yourself and summarising your work history and where you were before AmbiX? I will. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, thanks to AmbiX for having me. Very excited, uh, firstly, to start this journey uh, with you guys. But yeah, a bit about myself. Uh, I came from the lighting industry directly from, you know, um, lighting OEM, so working with Aurora. Um, but I've, I've also been around sort of smart buildings as well, which I think is important um, with Ambiex, as you know, drive in the smart buildings and lighting space. Uh, I worked at Inmodus, which is Powerline Communication, um, but also GUI, which was very much a sort of a building level uh, viewpoint for, you know, everything that's going on, insights, etc. So bringing that all together and sort of my background in, in the lighting, the building and sort of product space, hopefully uh, I can lend my talents to AmbiX and, and really make a difference here. Brilliant. Yeah, and it's great to have you here. Um, so outside of work, you know, what do you find yourself doing in your spare time? How do you how do you feel that? Yeah, uh, I sleep and eat a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have um, I have three young kids, so they keep me very busy. Um, and if I do get any spare time, it'll be something to do with football or sport. But yeah, the usual stuff, I guess. Yeah, good answer. Um, so this one's a bit of a silly question, but I, I'll ask it. It's interesting to see what people's answers are. Um, so if you were shipwrecked on a desert island, but all of your basic needs were catered for, so you had water and food, etc., cetera, um, what two items would you choose to take with you? Good question. Didn't <laughs> didn't see a question like this coming up on the, uh, on the intro <laughs> to MVX, but uh, I guess, I mean, I'm a techie guy. So yeah, something techie, uh, like I, my mobile phone is always in my hand, good or bad. Um, but I guess being on a desert island, you need some way of charging that thing. So so the second item would be something like a, a solar charger and just be a bit clever about it. And then I can just, you know, continue working whilst eating and sleeping on this desert island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good answer. Interesting. Um, so yeah, just to understand a little bit more about you as a person, like, would you say that you're an introvert or an extrovert or a talker or a listener? How would you kind of categorize yourself? Uh, yeah, I guess an extrovert uh, primarily. Um, I do like to do um, a lot of the sales commercial piece. I do like to listen to what, what our customers and what people are saying. I always love to be up to date. So yeah, listening is, is a very key part of that. Um, but I do like to talk as well so you know um, and I do talk fast I guess and sometimes I probably have to slow it down a little bit um, but yeah meeting people getting out there doing outdoorsy things but also in the tech world in, in my work role I like to be in the know go to shows uh, meet with people so yeah definitely yeah. an extrovert okay sounds like a, a good mix of both really there um, so I guess have you got like a favorite quote or anything that you stand by is there anything that you think you know, good advice or anything like that, that you would... For you? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so advice, uh, well, I mean, forever with my kids, my, my advice is uh, to them is practice makes perfect because, you know, they like to moan if they can't get anything right first time. But I guess it has good grounding in the working world uh, because, you know, really uh, you've got to work at things to get it right. And, um, you know, so I guess it's not, it's not a work or a life ethos, but it comes out of my mouth probably 20 yeah. times a day so practice makes perfect is the one for me okay cool um and finally what would you th say is the main thing that attracted you to ambiex you know what excites you about our technology and our solution yeah i think when i came across ambiex you know probably at first it was a little bit unclear what what the ambiex you know technology was and what the offer was for the world but now I've got a little bit under the bonnet. I'm really excited, you know, and then when, when the opportunity came along, it was definitely something I wanted to explore. I really, really believe in the built space, um, you know, the digital twin at the emergence of, you know, both control data uh, and, you know, combining all of this together to, to have actual real time benefits. I think, you know, in my previous roles, the world probably is, is getting there but it's not been quite there but it, it appears after covid people coming back to the offices you know wellness etc there's a big drive now to to um do something a bit different do something better um and i think you know i'm now really infused 
you know, for, for where Ambiex could go in that space. And it can actually really add benefits. Um, so, yeah, so I'm totally into, you know, driving the product forward, um, offering this, you know, capabilities that we have uh, to the market and, and seeing where we go. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to my time at Ambiex.